Hi, welcome to Dimensional Analysis, the factor label method. We're going to need to know certain conversion factors. We place them as um, kind of fractions and we go from there. First thing I see that's glaring is that seconds, they're using SEC and it should really just be S, um, but that's okay. So I might have to do a little bit of erasures so that you don't see all of the work all at once, but you can always go back if you need to. So three hours. I need to go from hours to seconds. So I don't know how many hours are in a second, or how many seconds are in an hour, excuse me, seconds in an hour. So I need to break it down into smaller increments. So one hour I know is 60 minutes, divide hours, and then in one minute I know that is 60 seconds. So three times 60 times 60 is 10,800. So 10,800, let's talk about, that's an eight, talk about sig figs for a second. So this is one sig fig, we need one sig fig. Is the zero enough to round that up? No, so 10,000, 10,000. All right, I have to erase. Okay, um, 0 0.035 milligrams to centigrams. Um, well, I could use that metric conversion thing like the other sheet, um, which would just be going back one. Um, so milligrams to grams. Uh, what, you just say that this is 10 to the minus three, this is 10 to the minus two. You could do it that way. Eh. This is ridiculous though. To do dimensional analysis for something like that is kind of silly. You could do it, but really all you have to do is move the decimal place um, one spot to the left. So that would be 0 0.0035. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just to do that dimensional analysis wise is ridiculous. So, um, so here's milli. Your centi. So you just move the decimal place one spot to the left. Sorry, I kind of cheated on that one. All right, kilograms to pounds. So 5.5 kilograms, put it over one. I need to go to pounds. I need that conversion factor. So I'll either provide it to you or you could look it up. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So I say 5.5 times 2.2 is 12.1. Um, that is not the right number of sig figs. I need two sig figs, 12. All right, 2.5 yards to inches, 2.5 yards times. Okay, so yeah, how many yards? Uh, I don't know, but I do know yards and feet. So in one yard, there are three feet. And then I do know that in one foot, there's 12 inches. Okay, so 2.5 times 3 times 12 it's 90. Uh, that's only one sig fig though so I could do 90 with a line I could do 90 with a bar that is a line or dot or I could do 9 times 10 to the 1 10.0 times 10 to the 1 yeah you probably wouldn't do that all right let's get rid of this all right, now we have 1.3 years to hours, and they gave me that. So 1.3 years over one, one year is 365 days. So 1.3 times 365 is 474.5 days. But we only want two sig figs, so here they are. Is four enough to round that up? No, so 470 days. Uh, oh, <clears throat> silly me. Ah, uh, we weren't done. They wanted hours. Oops. What, four point, it's been a long day. <laughs> one year is 365 days. And then we need to go that in one day, there's 24 hours. All right, sorry about that. So 1.3 times 365 times 24 is 11,388 two sig figs, so 11,000 hours. Sorry about that confusion. Okay, moles, what the heck is a mole? Well, 
it's just a quantity, three moles, and the quantity is one mole, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And that obviously says molecules. So I'm just gonna do three times 6.02. I'm gonna get 18.06 times 10 to the 23rd. This is something we're gonna talk about more later, but if we move our decimal place one spot to the left here, 1.806, then I need to make this bigger here, times 10 to the 24th. The last thing I need to do is change my sig figs. So one sig fig, does eight round it up? Yes. So two times 10 to the 24th molecules. Two times 10 to the 24th. Get rid of that. We'll talk more about that later in the year. Now we have to go back. 2.5 times 10 to the 24th molecules. Then we have to do one mole on top, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so 2.5 divided by 6.02 is 0.41528, blah, blah, blah. 10 to the 24th divided by 10 to the 23rd is 10 to the 1. So now that's not in sign notation, so I'm going to have 4.1528. I make that larger, so I make this smaller, 10 to the 0, which is 1. Now I need two sig figs, 4.2, because this rounds us up. If this is going too fast, I do apologize. You are always welcome to come ask me uh, in person. 5 moles to liters, 5 moles. Well, I know that 1 mole is 22.4 liters. So 5 times 22.4 is 112 liters. I need one sig fig. Is one enough to round that up? No, 100 liters. Okay, 100 liters, note the decimal place, so that's three sig figs, two moles. So 22.4 liters is one mole. We just learned that. 100 divided by 22.4 gives me 4.46, etc. Um, actually, I can't say etc. You need that. This is not an 8. I think it's 428. But anyways, the 4 is not enough to round that up. So it's 4.46 moles. Okay. Liters to molecules. So 50 liters. Um, they already told me that 22.4 liters is 1 mole. And they already told me that one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Very messy, I apologize. 50 times 1 times 6.02 is 301 times 10 to the 23rd, which is not proper sign notation, but that's okay. Let's divide it by 22.4. Hold on. 301 divided by 22.4. It's going to be 13.4375 times 10 to the 23rd, which is 1.34375. That got smaller, so this gets bigger. And I want two sig figs, 1 1.3. 1.3 times 10 to the 24th. That's hard. We're going to talk about this later on in the year. That's much harder than I would normally ask you to do. Opposite. Oh, gosh, really? 5 times 10 to the 24th. So this is molecules. So then we're going to do 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. That's one mole. Goodbye to those. And then one mole is 22.4 liters. It's just the opposite of what we did before. So 5 times 22.4 is going to give me 112 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd which is 11, plugging it in, 18.06 times 10 to the 1. So that gets smaller, 1.806, and this gets bigger, times 10 to the squared. And then sig figs, uh, 2, so 1.8 times 10 squared, which you could also write as 180. And then the last one, milliliters to liters, 7.5 times 10 to the third milliliters times 
There are a thousand mill whoops, a thousand milliliters in one liter. So 7.5 times 10 to the third, which by the way is one, two, three. Looks like that. 7,500 divided by a thousand is 7.5, which is the same number of sig figs. I'll admit to you that at this stage in the game, some of these are harder than what you are going to need to know. So I would say this stuff, this is a little bit harder. This is honors level. So if you're in the honors class and that was hard, that's fine, but we should be getting ready for that. If you are not in the honors class, um, that's okay for right now. We'll, we'll definitely get there. So, oops, I lost part of question four. This is 90 with a line over it. Okay, hope that helped. If not, please talk to me. Thanks.